my, 29F, close friend, 40F, found God and is now very difficult to talk to. I have a great friendship, we were quite similar and she's easy to talk to. However during Covid she rekindled her faith and she's super religious now, to the point I feel like I have to censor myself with her. Even more so after she told me that one time we were talking about sexual things before Covid and she realized she was encouraging premarital sex and she had to confess to the priest. Since then I don't really talk to her beyond work related things because everything and I mean everything she has to add some Jesus talk and some spiritual warfare talk. For e.g., she asked about books for her kid and I do recommend one or TV series and she'd be like that's devil thing. I can cut out the R-rated talks we used to have but it's difficult to navigate convos when everything is devil thing. I also feel like she judging me. I honestly don't mind people being religious but just don't stuff it in others faces. I'm not religious. She noticed I don't really engage in conversation with her and she asked why. I don't know what to say. I don't want to be like your god talk is a bit much. I also don't want her to feel like she's compromising herself every time we speak. TLDR, my friend found God and now thinks everything is related to the devil thus making engaging with her difficult. She noticed I longer converse with her and asked me why. Unsure what to say. I just feel like we don't really connect anymore. You are very devout in your religion and want to talk about it, and I don't. I want to talk about the things we used to, but now you say they're devil things. I just don't think this is going to work anymore. Something like that maybe? Or just go Eric Macron backslash underscore underscore slash Macron. It sucks that you've lost a friend though. TBH I find it kind of frightening how Catholicism can change people so drastically. You can just tell her that you are happy she's found religion that works for her, but that religion, and therefore as an extension, the, frowns upon, and more specifically, casts shame upon, parts of your life that you don't think should be considered bad, and so as a result talking with her is stressful. I'd be honest and tell her censoring yourself to respect her faith really limits what you can converse about. What can you say? You're drifting apart right now. It can be sad but it's something that happens in friendships. Tell her outright that her newfound zealous faith is making you uncomfortable. She's got no problem making you uncomfortable with it. Worst case scenario she stops talking to you. Would that really be such a bad thing at this point? My sister is like this. I barely speak to her about anything in my life. Every time I go visit her to see my nieces it's always how's your relationship with God? I'm not a religious person. However, I do have my faith. It's super annoying having to dodge her questions because what I'm doing isn't good enough for her and I need to have a better relationship so we can see each other in the heaven. Same thing with my sis. The not seeing each other in heaven part really bothers her. Whereas I think, I dread family holidays so, the idea of spending eternity together isn't really enough of a draw to get me to convert to her religion. I, 19M, told my girlfriend, 19F, that I needed space, she started crying and now she won't talk to me at all. Hey guys, this is my first time ever being in an actual relationship so I'm pretty bad at this. I think I messed up and I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. So basically I started dating this girl like 3 months ago and everything was going great. She's a lot of fun to hang out with and I like spending time with her but it just seems that she always wants to hang out. Don't get me wrong obviously I'm glad she wants to spend time with me but it started to feel like my whole life was about her. I used to hang out with my friends every day now I barely see them. Yeah it's true that the quarantine is part of the blame but she wasn't helping either. At first I didn't want to seem boring so whenever she wanted to hang out I'd be like yeah sure I'm coming over right now but it started getting out of hand. Two weeks ago she came over every day for a whole week and pretty much spent the whole day and whenever she's not here she's texting me. So I started getting annoyed and feeling suffocated, so I lost it once and told her that I need her to leave me alone for a while. I felt like shit for acting like 
that towards her, especially because she started crying, and I apologized and explained to her that I love spending time with her but it seems like we're spending too much time together and I'd like some space to be able to do me stuff, she said she understands and left and I thought that was that. I spent the next day at a friend's house and I assumed she was gonna be hanging out with her friends and we didn't talk all day. It was probably the first time we went no contact for a whole day since we started going out. I sent her a text the next day checking up on her but she didn't respond so I called her and she didn't pick up. So I called her sister, who told me that she's been holed up in her room since she left my place two days ago and apparently has been crying. I called her like four times I even went to their place but she still won't talk to me. That was three days ago. Still no contact so far. I don't even know if we're still still dating or nah. I don't really want the relationship to end but I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I don't really have any close girlfriends or sisters or anyone to ask about this kind of stuff so here I am posting about it. I asked my brother and his advice was to ignore her until she comes around but I feel like that's probably shitty advice. Also I'd like to know if I handled this the wrong way and if so what would have been the right way? Too long didn't read, my girlfriend was being too clingy so I told her I needed space so she left and she hasn't been responding to my texts or calls since then. Now I'm not sure what I should do. Edit, I wanted to thank everyone for the great advice, so the majority of the comments seem to think she could have taken it as a breakup which makes so much sense as to why she reacted this way. Also I'll try to be more open with her about what I'm actually feeling instead of snapping like that. But now I wrote a letter that I'm gonna drop off at her place later today hopefully it works out. Thanks everyone. To be honest, it sounds like you broke up with her. If she isn't responding, I would assume you're broken up and leave her alone. It did kinda sound like you broke up by the way you worded it tbh. She probably took it the wrong way and didn't understand what you meant. It's important to elaborate a bit more when laying down boundaries so there isn't room for confusion, and doing so in a somewhat warmer tone. It's best just to give her space and wait for her to come around. If it turns out that she did understand that you were just laying a boundary down and it wasn't a miscommunication at all, I would feel concerned about her reaction here. Asking for space the way you did sounded like a breakup, actually, could have been communicated better. You should at least send her a text explaining that it wasn't a breakup if she thinks it is, and that you simply need to balance together time and alone time better. Good luck. You know I hate when a guy calls a girl clingy. You were in a relationship with this girl, and obviously she she really liked you. Wanting to see you and spend time with you is pretty normal. And in some relationships seeing each other all day is also normal. What failed to happen is you using your words and talking to her like you were in an actual relationship. You failed to tell her you would like to spend time with your friends. You failed to tell her you needed some solo time. She kept moving forward until you blew up at her. She was most likely blindsided. If you actually would like to continue a relationship with this girl you need to apologize for not talking to her and communicating your needs. Be honest but be kind. Send her an email slash text slash voicemail and then let her be. Let her make the next move. Or any move. But seriously next relationship use your words and talk to the girl. Set boundaries and needs in the beginning and try not to bottle your emotions up. Good luck. Totally agree Op says himself that he wanted to not appear boring and so he agreed to have her over often or to go hang out. That set up the expectation this girl had of the frequency of their hangouts turns out that expectation was wrong, and she had no idea until he blew up. It seems like both sides were a little immature. Nothing wrong with it since they're both young and still growing and learning. But could be helpful to now have a thoughtful heart to heart about what time alone means, what space means, what they value in their time together and apart, etc. Sounds like a miscommunication that got out of hand. He probably thinks you broke up with her or you're taking a break. If you do manage to clear the air, Try not to bottle your feeling up because you will resent her for not reading your mind. I've done that before and well, I regret it. 
GF28F and I28M just moved in together and she's super neurotic about everything. I just moved in with my GF of two years around a month ago. I've always known she's more type A than me but lately I've been realizing that she's incredibly high strung about our apartment. Multiple times a day I find myself breaking some unspoken rule. For example if I forget to use a coaster while drinking I'll get lectured. If I don't wipe water off the counter immediately while washing dishes or put a cup or bowl on the counter without something underneath for example she'll go out of her way to remind me. Of course I try to be reasonable and adhere to them but I'm only human and sometimes I forget. Now I consider myself to be a decently neat slash clean person but I don't require everything to be spotless and perfect in order all the time. It feels like everything needs to always be perfect for her. Another rule she came up with recently was that I can't move my bowl slash plate around while eating at the dining table because she's afraid it'll scratch the table. And I also get a reminder if I shift my chair around at all while sitting because she's afraid it'll scratch the floor. Yesterday I was putting together some furniture. I noticed her watching me half the time, and it made me feel uncomfortable as if she were waiting for me to make a mistake. I dropped a screw by accident and she scolded me like I was her kid, and that's when I just told her that she can either help me put things together or stop micromanaging me. She didn't argue back and we haven't really had issues about this again yet, but I'm not sure if this is fully resolved. Am I being unreasonable for being annoyed by this, or is my GF being too neurotic? Outside of this we have a great relationship but sometimes it feels like I'm walking on eggshells having to tiptoe around our living space and it can be a real mood killer. Too long didn't read. GF is really type A about our apartment and it's getting really annoying to deal with. You can't move your plate and you can't drop a screw? This is beyond ridiculous. Definitely she needs a sit down talk, therapist, doctor's visit depending on the discussion. You should not have to walk on eggshells for inane reasons. Just a thought, I don't know if you ever want a baby with her, but I can't imagine that's going to go well with her personality at this point. It's too much. You say neurotic. I wonder if it's anxiety. I have anxiety and sometimes I just get very overwhelmed by the noises my husband and kids make. Everything seems like too much, too loud, too rough, too thoughtless, everything is a trigger. That's my problem. I medicate and have coping strategies to ensure I'm not riding them for dropping stuff. Moving of dishes on the table, the dropped screw. This is too much. Explain that you're unable to live that way. That standards are certainly important, but compromise must be found by you both for this to work. Someone needs to introduce her to placemats and those little felt things you put on the bottom of chair legs. This sounds exhausting. Not being able to move a plate slash bowl while eating is ridiculous. Is she being controlling, or does she have some type of misophonia? Living together is all about compromise. What is she compromising on? Also there are some ways to get around these issues. For example, use placemats on the table, or put felt pads on the feet of the chairs. This will avoid any scratching, and if you're in an apartment, will be enjoyed by your downstairs neighbors. This is why living together is so important. She has fundamentally different ideas of what her living space should be like. It's more than being type A, BTW. It is unfair to either of you to have to walk on eggshells. That shit gets old fast, fast. You need to come to a middle ground. Whether she has mild OCD or has control issues remains to be seen, but she needs to be able to address and modify her behavior to achieve a middle ground. She can't then you need to decide if you want to live your life this way. It may be too big of a hurdle for her but hard to tell from your text. There will always be an adjustment period when you first move in. The real work comes from being able to communicate your needs while respecting the other person's. Home should be a haven you want to come back to. Good luck and hopefully she will be receptive.